Hello again. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, uh, so I figured I'd make one. I haven't made one on this channel in, I think, over a year. <laughs> yeah, I think it's been about a year. But anyways, um, I decided to do a video today just because I had some free time and I thought it would be a good idea. I was at my local Ross and I found this controller. Pretty nice. Yeah. So it's called the Nunchamp Wireless Game Controller by Armor 3. Um, yeah, it's a Nintendo Switch wireless controller and I was surprised. Like you hardly ever see wireless Nintendo Switch controllers out in the wild. Um, so I figured I'd pick this up and this one was at Ross for, there's the price, $19.99. Regular price $28. So I figured that this is just one of those cheap uh, China controllers. Uh, China made controllers, um, but I'm not sure. I haven't um, opened this up yet or tested it, so let's do that now. Here's my cutting scissors. Okay, couldn't find my scissors, so on to the next best thing. <laughs> my knife. Okay, so let's cut this open. Hopefully I don't cut a finger. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, that side's open already. Okay, well, there you go. So let's take this thing out. There we go. And then let's see how it is. Yeah, so I figured that this is just one of those cheap uh, China-made controllers, the Chinese knockoff Switch Pro controllers. Oh, gosh, that's quite an effort to get that out. Um, probably going to be really... Uh, cheaply made oh oh my <laughs> this actually has some good weight to it wow that's pretty surprising like some nice designs on the top too wow the buttons feel really good they're not like just tactile switches in there they actually have some uh some good uh wow this controller actually feels really good the weight is actually really nice there's like a bit of a rubbering rubberized grip here I'm not really a fan of that, but it does actually feel really nice. I don't like rubberized grips because here in Hawaii, for some reason, these things always get sticky over time. Like, give it a couple years and it'll just be a gummy mess on the side. Um, but yeah, it actually feels pretty nice. The weight, oh my, the weight is really good. In fact, I think it weighs more than a Power A controller. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it does. It feels like it weighs more than the Power A controller. Oh, uh, what are these on the back? Oh, it looks like it has some programmable buttons on the back i'm not sure what that is either but dang and look it uses usb type c does it come with a cable yep yep usb type c this means this bad boy's rechargeable oh that's pretty good it feels really nice in the hands it almost feels like the xbox controllers which i like i like the offset joysticks yxba the buttons feel okay. They're a little gummy, but I mean, or not gummy, um, mushy. But they actually feel okay, not bad. These are very clicky. This one's a little mushy. How's the D-pad? Oh, the D-pad's okay. The D-pad feels a little gummy, or um, not gummy, again, mushy. <laughs> yeah, the D-pad feels a little mushy. Well, we'll see. Wow, look at that thing. That actually looks pretty good. I like the design on the top. I'm surprised they took the extra effort to do that. And on the back, there's just the regular generic model number. New Champ, that's what it's called. New Champ, not Nun Champ. New Champ. New Champ controller. I'm actually quite impressed with the way this feels. This feels better than the Power A controllers do, to be honest. Minus the mushy D-pad. Uh, Power A doesn't have a, a mushy D-pad or mushy buttons. Well, I guess some people say they do, but not to me. Like, I don't think they do. But some people say they do. I wonder what this button is for. <laughs> that was a random button there. Not sure. There's the home button. This is the capture button, the plus and minus. I'm not too sure what that one does. Oh, well. We'll find out. Okay, so there you go. It's a closer look at it. You guys can see it. It's actually really nice. 
Yeah, I'm so surprised they went that extra step and did this cool design on the top. That's really nice. So it does look kind of blue on camera, but this controller is actually black. Hmm. All right, well, that's the controller. Uh, let's get it set up to the Switch and test it out. Okay, so I was just reading over the instructions and it looks like we're going to have to plug this in for a couple hours before we can use it, which is no biggie for me. That's fine with me. And also this T button here is, let me go back to the manual and find it. Is a turbo button. So <laughs> this is the instructions for it. So that T is a turbo button, which is kind of cool. Like you don't see too many controllers nowadays that have turbo buttons, so I guess that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, we'll see. This is the rest of the manual, if you guys are wondering. It does come with a manual. A uh, new Champ wireless game controller. So, there you go. Alright, so I'm going to charge this up, and then we will check it out. Okay, after going over the instruction manual, I saw that you can remap the buttons, but it's kind of a weird remapping system. Um, yeah, there's like four profiles all together, and you can choose which profile you want to use. And that would indicate the what button each paddle goes to. Um, I don't think it's customizable. I don't see it being customizable. But, I mean, these are like the options you get. <laughs> right there sorry for the shadow but yeah those are the options you get and uh that's how to enable the turbo function this reads like stereo instructions so i'm not very interested in reading that whole thing um i did but it's just yeah not gonna explain it you guys can figure it out for yourself pause the video if you want to read this <laughs> but yeah so the buttons are remappable but not i guess in the traditional sense it doesn't say how to customize the remapping or anything like that. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to say later in this video that I'm not sure if it's remappable. And yes, they are. Okay, so we're back. I have the controller synced to the switch. It's actually really easy, just like doing any other controller. So let's give it a go. So I have this right here. The new champ wireless game controller. Very nice controller. And it's synced pretty easy see right there it didn't take that long to charge either so let's give this a go the controller actually feels really good I've, my only gripe is this does feel a little spongy and the, jo the the joysticks feel really good buttons are a little spongy but i mean nothing too bad these feel great except there is a little bit of a sharp lip on the bottom of these but you know that's no big deal my thumb my fingers are hardly over there anyway Anyways, okay, so, have it synced. It was really easy to sync. Uh, there's a, also, if you don't know how to sync controllers, it's in the instruction manual too. I, I had to look it up because I couldn't remember. Um, but as soon as I saw, okay, go to grip, uh, change grip order and so on and so forth. And then the controller just popped up right away as soon as you push the sync button, by the way. The sync button is a circle button here. And these extra buttons over here, I'm not sure if you can remap them. I didn't see anything about them being remapped. But they do mimic the face buttons here. So, <laughs> yeah. Strange, but whatever. It works, I guess. Alright, anyways. Let's get into some gameplay. So, what we'll play first is... Let's go to... Oh, I have Warface playing now. Because I just uh, updated it. So, let's start with this. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, if you played a uh, Warp face before you know that it takes a long time to load so let's uh just get into it here oops wrong button so we'll go to play we'll go team deathmatch i usually play team deathmatch now i'm not like a pro player or anything by any means i just want to check out this controller and so far it feels pretty good yep yep Oh, I was like, uh-oh, did the controller freeze? No. Yeah, all the buttons seem to be working. So it's working good. Yeah. 
Yeah, everything seems to be working okay. Slide works good. Jump. Yep. Switch. Yep. Oh. Just threw a grenade. <laughs> Yeah, stolen kill. Oh, hiding. All right. Oh, hey, good. Right in the face. Like it, like it. It does feel like I'm playing on an Xbox controller, though, because I think... The analog covers for the stick is the same. Okay. This is really difficult playing through the phone lens. Oh, got me. Yeah, this is really difficult playing through my phone. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. But yeah, let's try another game. Okay, let's try a little bit of Street Fighter. I want to test out this spongy d-pad see how it is and we'll just do arcade and let's do let's do third strike this is probably my favorite street fighter game right now well street fighter 5 is my favorite but right now for the classics i like street fighter um third strike put some coins in okay. I'm gonna pick my boy right here at the top. Mm, let's go with this. Uh, it's been a while since I played. Let's beat up Remy. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is a little spongy, but it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. It does feel a little spongy, but play-wise, it's fine. It's very usable. Yep, there we go. Now, you'll have to forgive me, like I said before, I'm playing through the lens of the, um, the phone, my camera lens on my phone. I'm looking at my phone screen. So, forgive me if it's not like the most like epic gameplay you've ever seen. Oh, yep. Look at that. Bam. Oh, he didn't die. Yep. So yeah, it does feel a little spongy, but not, not too bad. Play one more. Let's beat up Alex. There we go. Alex is actually a really good character. He's a, another character that I like to use. Yeah, see? I can clean off these moves with, like no problem. Okay, that was a little bit of a problem. I felt that one. <coughs> Definitely felt that one. Alright, let's try again. There we go. So it does seem to have a problem with the rolling. So like the quarter circle moves. I wonder if I can change that. I'm pretty sure it's just um maybe with a better D-pad in here. And I think I do have one that would fit in here. That might help because this D-pad seems like it's too short for this controller and that's why it feels so mushy. Now I don't, during using fighting games uh, or controllers for fighting games, I don't like to use the joystick. A lot of people I see use the joysticks. I don't care for the joysticks. I'd rather just um, use the D-pad because that's what I'm used to. 
um, or an arcade stick, which I currently don't have for any of my systems, which I'm surprised because I always had a fight stick for every system I ever owned. And I'm surprised I don't have one. I wonder if the Dreamcast one will work on here because it's a USB. I don't know. I'll have to find out. Dead. Oh, close to. Oh, he got me. All right. Let's go. Round three. Let's do this. But yeah, I prefer the D-pad, and this one is kind of shitty. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work really well for a platformer, but for fighting games, yeah, I don't see this thing working. Yeah, I really don't see this thing working. Um, but yeah, so after this, let's try a platformer. Yeah, we'll try a platformer after this. Okay, so let's exit out. So far, all the buttons seem to be working okay. We'll go home and push. This one, close. Um, I want to test the input con con blah, the inputs on the D-pad. So let's go to. Oh, does this have motion control? I wonder if this has motion control. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's interesting. So does this have motion control? How do I test it? <laughs> I never tested that. Oh, Bluetooth audio. Okay, so there's pairing devices. Oh, this is a new system update. I haven't, I haven't gone through this yet. Controllers and sensors. Okay. Rear motion control says. Oh, there. Test input devices. There it is. Okay. I just didn't go down far enough. That seems to be registering okay. Yep, that all works. Oh yeah, that all works. Oops. <laughs> I think that all works. All right. That seems to be working. Okay. Okay, so all in all, this thing is actually pretty darn good. It is uh, pretty darn good. I like it. I like that design on the top. Control controller feels sturdy it's heavier this is the power a controller it's heavier than the power a controller very very much so this one feels like an actual xbox controller and it looks like an xbox controller this one the power a controller looks just like the nintendo pro controller now i do admit the d-pad and the buttons on this feel a lot better than this but i hardly use the d-pads i mainly play like First person shooters, I hardly ever play platformers nowadays. I just don't have the time to get into them. Um, most of the games I play use the joysticks anyway, so I guess this controller's okay. Um, I will have to give this one a thumbs up. I mean, this is a great controller. It feels really good. Like, I can't get over how good this feels for 20 bucks at Ross. I can't believe this thing is uh, built the way it is, and it's sturdy built. It doesn't feel cheap. In fact, the Power A controller feels cheaper than this one. This one feels like a good quality controller. Besides the fact that the buttons are a little mushy. And uh, like I said before, this is the sync button to sync it. It's currently synced to my Switch now. And then these, I thought were remappable. I don't know if they are. But as far as I know, these mimic the A, B, and uh, X and Y buttons here. 
that's what these are for um i'm not sure if you can remap you might be able to remap it but for the price you pay for this controller i think you get a better deal than with the power a the power a controller is about what um 40 bucks now it's gone up in price so the power a controllers are about 40 bucks and uh this actually feels really good for a 20 dollar controller from ross you know and it has a built-in battery this one still uses double a's this has a built-in battery it uses usb type c for charging um yeah that's pretty good very good oops <laughs> i accidentally woke my switch up um but yeah this looks really good i like the look of this i love the feel of this the grips the grip the rubber grips here is okay so this is it with the power a we'll do a side by side and you know what let me get my xbox controller real quick it's right here so this is the xbox controller this one i did a bought a custom shell for but it's a legitimate xbox controller i just bought the custom shell for it so there you go this one and this one feels like weight wise these two feel the same and they look the same as you can tell <laughs> they look almost exactly the same um i don't know if they are but i wonder if these buttons are interchangeable because i do have an extra set of buttons i can put in there if they are um the d-pads as well like i would like to get a better feeling d-pad um this one the xbox uses tactile i think this still uses like um the contacts the rubber silicone membranes that are behind this because it doesn't have a click to it so that's pretty good all right so the lizzie's and i also have my <laughs> red uh series x controller here so yeah in comparison they feel almost the same <laughs> compared to the rest of them yeah and I do like the Series X controller. It's really nice. A good feeling controller. I really do like it. But yeah. Anyways. So, all in all, this is a really good controller. We should buy it. <laughs> if you ever go to Ross and you see this for 20 bucks, pick it up. It's a great deal. Um, one more time. It is the New Champ Wireless Game Controller by armor three really good controller very happy all right so quick side note before i end this video this controller can actually wake the switch up too from sleep so all you gotta do is hold this button down there it goes <laughs> that's pretty damn good very impressed the Power A controller can't even do that. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Have a nice day.